I'm sorry. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, then you throw those in. And it adds a little bit extra crunch. Voila, done. I add a little bit of teriyaki sauce just for some extra flavor. You don't have to, it's optional. Mix it up, and that's it. Voila, it's done. Today's show was all about embracing our individual beauty and adding to it. So go out there and feel fabulous from the inside out. I'm Juliana Hever, and that's what I would do to look as good on the outside as I feel on the inside. Now it's up to you. Who wants to try my pineapple aloha rice, guys? Really good, one of my favorites. Hi, I'm Jeff Halavy. We all have special events in our lives where we want to go that extra mile to be the best we can be. And whether it's a wedding, a reunion, or a sports challenge, the same game plan applies. Keep it consistent and stick with it. Sign up for my main event countdown today on Workout From Within. We're putting the fun back in fitness, not to your chest, but more to your hip area. There you go. That's it, let's go, come on. You gotta live it. Welcome back. Today we're shaping up and counting down to a big event. And a sporting competition calls for increased stamina, strength, and a few techniques to injury-proof your body and enhance your performance. My first client is gearing up for a pro golf tournament that's just a few months away. I have pro golfer Mark Farrell with me, and he's here to do a workout. Welcome, Mark. Great to meet you. Thanks. Mark, so you're gearing up for a, a pretty major uh, golfing event, from what I understand. Absolutely. It's a national event, and the top 15 go on to the big stage, which is a major in our in our industry, so PGA of America. No pressure at all, I'm sure. No pressure. <laughs> Nothing. No, no. So no. I want to get really dialed in on it. One of the things I've, I've, I've heard of is the Ten Commandments that yep. are in the uh, Old Testament. You have the, the Ten Golf Commandments. Well, yeah, they're very, you know, it's all about how you go through life. And, okay. and, and, and on the golf course, it's you and the golf ball, and it's your brain. Mm -hmm. And so you can't have any expectations out there. One of the big things is, is that you really want to stay in the moment. And that's, that's a big part of it. So that's... Uh, I can vouch for that, you know, because I can tell you even at a driving range, there's so much, you know, uh, flittering away in my mind as I stand there about what I need to do and not do. And it's at times that I kind of let it go and just, you know, kind of go with the flow that I, I do best. Absolutely. Just swing the club. Um, one of the big ones is to play to play great not play to play poorly. Right. Uh, love the challenge of the day, whatever it may be. There mm -hmm. might be bad weather, cold, hot, warm. doesn't really matter. Right. So you're prepared for anything, just like you're prepared in life. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I think that if more people were present in the moment, they'd probably be a lot happier, too. Let's get into a few exercises that we can do to get you ready. All right? Sounds great. All right, let's do it. So the first one, you may have seen this before. This is called a golf club, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've got one we're, of these. I, I figured you might have seen it before. Now, this is a great uh, tool that we're going to use in our next exercise. Now, golf is a heavily, as you're aware, rotational sport, okay? Absolutely. You need to have power. You need to have balance too. So many golfers, I see this, I even get a little bit of a chuckle when I lose my balance swinging because I swing like Happy Gilmore. <laughs> but you need to have balance too, not just power. So right. we're gonna do an exercise that not only develops your power and reflex, but also gives you some balance. The okay. exercise we're gonna do is a jump squat with okay. a 180 twist. I'll demonstrate, then you'll okay. go. You're gonna start more or less in your golfing posture, a little bit of like a quarter squat position. Yep. From here, you're going to jump, and land softly on the other side. You're gonna reset, and oops, just lost my balance. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, you can, now the flaws in my swing are probably coming out, but you're gonna land with your balance, coming back to the other side. So why don't you go ahead and okay. give it a go. So Trying to stay as quiet as possible, I imagine. Yes, exactly. Okay. That's it. And 
There you go. And try to absorb, if you can, almost think like a skier and absorb that landing. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Absorb it. There you go. And absorb it. Good. Now, this is an exercise because it's a power exercise. You wouldn't do this for like 20 reps because power, right. you know, training power just doesn't work that way. It usually is lower reps. But this is something you could do maybe five reps back and forth. Gotcha. And you can go as many as five or six sets on something like this. Now, the next exercise we're going to do is going to be another rotational exercise. Okay. And as I mentioned before, golf is a rotational sport. If you do not train rotation, not only do you predispose yourself to injury because the body needs to be balanced out side to side with rotation, right. but also your performance is going to suffer. So okay. I'm going to pass this to you. Yep. All right. A little bigger than the ball you're used to hitting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do, I'm going to break it down step by step with you. I, okay. want, I would like you to forward lunge with your left foot. Okay. Okay. You're going to drop down staying tall. All right. Now mm -hmm. extend the ball out and rotate to the left over the supporting leg. That's it and back to center, and back up. Now, anybody watching this at home, and I'd like you to crank out a few more reps as I continue okay. to talk. Anybody watching this at home is going to say, hey, this is an easy exercise. And what I say to you is, why don't you try it out, OK? It's not that easy. It isn't easy at all. This is, in fact, is an exercise that I've used to great effect with dancers, with golfers, with tennis players. The reason it's so effective, and you're aware of this, is you need to be able to dissociate between the hips and shoulders. And most of us, and I'll give you a little break, most of us move around like robots. It's, I mean, it's right. pretty hard. Most of us move around like robots. And we know that that does not work for golf. Right. So the ability to keep the hips here and do this, and for That's instance. that counter-rotational movement that is so important in golf. Exactly. Right. Well, it's not just in golf. It's in tennis. I mean, even dancing, as, right. I, as I mentioned just a moment ago. It's crucial. Now, having power and the ability to move and strength and balance are all great. It's really important to also have torso stability. So our okay. last exercise, I'm just gonna move you over a little okay. bit over here. Yep. Our last exercise, kick this basket out of the way, all right, is going to be, and you can come on over here so you get an eye what I'm sure. doing. Yeah. Is going to be a uh, twisting motion that's really, this is called a lift. It's the opposite of a chop. If I was chopping, I'd be coming down this way. We're gotcha. gonna be doing the opposite motion. So okay. we're gonna start with a, uh, a band or a pulley right. over to our side, bring this up to center, and then extend over the supporting leg without moving at all and keeping the hips and shoulders very square. Mm. Of course, this cable wants to yank you apart. Right, right. You're not gonna let it do that, okay. Okay? okay? Why don't you go ahead and give it a try yourself? Sure. Let me just make sure I set you up in a good position. That looks pretty good to me. You can slide a little to your left, mm -hmm. and I'd like your hands to start down by the side. Gotcha. Okay. Now from here, um, just bring that in a little bit. There you go. You're gonna bring it first to the chest, mm -hmm. and then up and to the side. That's it, back to center, and down. Back to center. Yep, that's three movements. Back to center now, and over to the side. So I'm gonna guide you. I'd really like you to start here, but try to stay square. So let your arms cross your body. Square is tough. <laughs> it is tough, I'm telling you. I, I know how hard it is, yeah, all right? It's not so easy. go ahead, bring it to center again. Yep. Over. Do you feel that? <laughs> yeah, I do. All right. That I makes do. it really tough because you have less of a base of support. Right. That was awesome. Thanks so much. You're a real sport. I appreciate it. Good luck, by the way, oh, thank you. on the thank upcoming you. tournament. I'm sure you'll do fine. Coming up, we have a fitness countdown to a high school reunion. And later, how to set yourself up for exercise success. So it's this one is like that when you get narrow this is the place I like to call home the kitchen our compliments to the chef cheers good food America host Nathan Lyon has been nominated for a daytime Emmy give me a moment on this one I'm gonna savor this good food America with Nathan Lyon Saturday nights at 9 on Berea living Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. You're gonna be in a great mood all day because you're gonna be slapping your troubles away with a Slap Chop. Now look, here's a potato. One slap, you got big chunks for stews. Two slaps, home fries in a second. You add a mushroom, the more you do it, the finer it gets, you don't have to switch any blades. You love salad, you hate making it. Take the stringy celery, take the carrots, salad. I love pizza too, but once in a while, get the veggies in. At least throw it on top of the pizza. This tuna looks boring. Stop having a boring tuna, stop having a boring life. Here's a hard boiled egg. One chop, you add the pickle, you add the green onion. And then what you can do, you can mix things together. You can add the ham. You don't have time to make breakfast. You're gonna have an exciting life now. Breakfast to go. You're gonna love my nuts. Watch this. You can do everything in the cover. It's so easy, one finger. Kids can do it. They're gonna charge you a dollar for toppings at the ice cream stores. What about fruit? Look at that, isn't that beautiful on your ice cream? It's so easy to clean. One, two, 
and pops open like that, like a butterfly to clean. Now these other ones that you've seen in the store, you can't clean it, it doesn't open up. Bacteria gets in the food, you don't want bacteria in your food, right guys? Forget about that. Take this slap chop onion with the skin, all right? This is making you cry and making me cry. Life's hard enough as it is, you don't want to cry anymore. The skin's at the bottom. Hey, look, so you want a little bit of onions, you don't want to drag out the food processor, the skin comes right off. We're gonna make America skinny again, one slap at a time. When you buy the slap chop, we're gonna give you the grady for cheese. White cheese, yellow cheese, in the container. Comes with the twister, and watch this. Tacos, fettuccine, linguine, martini, bikini. Comes with two blades, just bang it. Fine and coarse, parmesan. Comes with a cover, stay sealed. Put it in the fridge, take it out when you need it. The slap chop sells for $19.95, and we're gonna give you the grady absolutely free. But if you call now, Within the next 20 minutes, because you know we can't do this all day. We'll double the offer. Just pay separate shipping and handling. So that's two sets for $19.95. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-791-6796. Call now to get your second set free. When you call, also ask about our foldable cutting board. Call 1-800-791-6796. That's 1-800-791-6796. Call now. I'm Drew Brees, and being a dad means the world to me. And one of the most important things any parent can do is make sure their kids get active at least 60 minutes each day. Studies show that physical activity not only helps kids stay healthy, it can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. This means physical activity can help your kids in the most important game of all, life. It's a workout countdown for that big life event. And this is Becky today. And this is Becky in... 1983? Yep, a little ways back. <laughs> She's got her high school reunion coming up. And for many people, a reunion can cause major anxiety. But don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Let's get to work, Becky, and figure out how we can get you prepped. Now, first and foremost, what is it that you want out of getting prepped for this event? Well, I'd like to tone up and maybe lose a little weight. Okay, and when I hear that, I really hear one in the same because when most women say tone up, that's actually a marketing buzzword, tone, toning. Anytime you hear that, that's, that's marketer talk. Um, what we really mean is gaining a little bit of muscle and losing some fat. That's what we're really going for. That way, when you lose a little bit of fat, you have a nice shape, right? Sounds good. Sounds good. Now talk to me, are you able to commit time to working out or how's that looking? I don't have too much time, so I want to try to get as much as I can in as short as I can. <laughs> okay. So when you say that, my mind goes to really one place, and that's that we need to be very time efficient, and the way to do that, in my opinion, is with interval training. And especially if you have a lot on your plate, I think the right way to go is with big movements that work the entire body at once, okay? Sounds good. All right, so here's what we've got. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some dumbbells. Oh, I have some 10 pound dumbbells. 10 pound dumbbells might not seem that heavy, but when you have to do them for intervals, they can become quite heavy, all right? I'd like you to go ahead and grab these and take just a little step forward. That's good, okay? Separate your feet just a tad more and point your toes slightly out. The first move we're gonna do is called a thruster or a dumbbell thruster. You're just gonna point that toe out just a little okay. bit, okay? I'd like you to start with the dumbbells at shoulder level. Okay, they can actually even be gently resting on the shoulder. Yup, just like that. Now, what we're gonna do is go down into a squat. Don't go yet, Simon okay. didn't say. You're gonna go all the way down into a squat, and as you come up, you're gonna kinda use the momentum that you got from the squat to punch the weights up to the ceiling, at which point you're gonna drop them back down, not drop, but you know, quickly bring them down. Go right back into the squat and back up again, okay? Okay. So why don't we try three reps in a row, see how we do there, and then we'll progress it from there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead, three okay. reps. Back down, hop, back down, hop, and rest. Okay, we got three reps. Now, the way that I said we're gonna do this is for intervals. So we're not gonna really be focused that much on reps, but this is an exercise that you could do, let's say for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, for anywhere from eight to maybe 10 rounds. Okay, your arms, I guarantee, will be pretty tired at that point in time. You also get cardio out of it. This is pretty, pretty heart friendly as well, all right? Okay. Let's try it for just 10 seconds right now. You ready? Let's okay. see how many reps you can get in 10 seconds. Okay. You keep counting the reps. I'm gonna count you down for time. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. 10, <laughs> nine. No, you're gonna. <laughs> the movement is down and then up. Remember, okay. say the whole body's gonna drop down. We'll gotcha. try that again. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. How many reps did you get there? 
11. 11 reps, all right? Not bad at all. So what I... What, <laughs> Well, whatever the number was, it's okay. <laughs> Remember, we're going for a prescribed amount of time. Now, you'll notice that with just a few reps, though, so we only did, what, 10 or 11 reps, you'll feel your heart working right away. Now, one of the nice effects of working the whole body like this is your heart has to pump blood not only to your upper body, but to your lower body as well. So you really give your heart a big task to do. Like I said, this is very heart friendly, all right? The next exercise we're going to do, I'm going to pass these to you, and I'd like you to take just a little step forward. I'll position you here, okay? That's fine. Now, what I'm going to have you do is um, you're going to hold the dumbbells in front, all right? We're going to do a little bit of a deadlift pattern. So go ahead and move your hips back. That's it. Now, I, see how you just squatted into that? I don't want you to really squat. I want you to bend forward. So you're going to crease your hips back. Let your knees soften. Soften. Soften your knees. That's it. Keep leaning forward. That's it. Loose arms right there. Now, stop right there. Now, I want you to row to your hip. Okay? So go ahead and pull. That's it. Good. Now, from there, you're going to put the weights down to the ground, kick your feet out, come back in, pick the weights back up. That's one rep. So we're going to combine a deadlift, a row, and a squat thrust all into one. So move just a step forward, all right? And you remember, don't lock out the knees. It's crucial that you don't lock out the knees, okay? So soften the knees, hips back. Go ahead. All right, so let's try that one more time. You're going to soften the knees, okay? Move the hips back. Okay, no, not quite. All right, let's take it one step at a time. Okay. You're gonna keep the knees soft. You're gonna move the hips back just like you did slowly. Okay, that's it, keep moving them back. Now you're gonna row. Okay, remember to the hip. Okay, now from here, you're gonna come down to the ground, kick out. That's it, bring it back in, and then stand. All right, now this is another one that we're gonna do for time. All right, okay. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds on the clock. You do as many reps as you can with good form. I don't wanna see you locking out the knees. You ready? We're gonna get going. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Ten. Not. <laughs> I think we lost the exercise there. I'll tell you what, Becky. This one you're going to get to try on your own because we're out of time. Okay. But the most important part for you, and not only that, for anybody at home, don't be too fast and too furious. Unless you have the form right, don't do it. All right, Becky? Okay. Coming up next, keep your main event countdown commitment, and later on, go to gadgets to keep you on the right track to fitness. So it's really important that you slow things down. I'm Jeff Halvey, host of Workout From Within on Varia Living. I'm passionate about using fitness to inspire and motivate others and to truly help people live healthier, happier lives. This passion is also shared by Varia Living, a network inspired to help everyone live a better life. I encourage each of you to lend a helping hand as well. It can be a simple act or a renewed commitment to a greater cause. Just get started. Together, let's all reach out and make a difference. Are you suffering from tired, swollen, achy feet? It's time to wrap yourself in relief. With Pampusa, the results are in. People love Pampusa circulation boosting socks because they work. Pampusa socks are made from a breakthrough 3D weave fiber technology that is body heat activated. The circulation boosting ingredients in the Pampusa miracle fibers have the power to boost blood flow up to 17% in as little as five minutes. The secret is in the natural bamboo charcoal that give this material its almost magical properties. Within a couple of days, everything sort of loosened up. Um, within a week, I was able to start walking around. I could actually play with my kids again. And when I wear a bambusa, I find that I can move around more easily and without pain, and it really helps me start my day faster. I noticed a difference in the first couple days. I loved them from the th uh, first day on, and I've been wearing them ever since. When you put on a Pampusa sock, your own body heat activates negative ions that act like infrared therapy to boost circulation and oxygen, reduce swelling, and restore comfort fast. Unlike ugly and expensive medical compression garments, Pampusa is discreet. Pampusa socks look like regular socks and fit in any shoe. And my, my ankles weren't swelling, so I could see that it was actually working for me. I never got that pins and needle feeling anymore. I love my bamboo socks. They come in black and white. Um, my favorite two colors to wear. I can always wear, you know, the black to work, the white to the gym. Bambusa is perfect for work, home, travel, and more. Wear them anywhere and feel rejuvenated in as little as 20 minutes. Stop suffering and enjoy soothing relief with Bambusa. 
through this special TV offer. We'll include two bonus pairs of Bambusa socks, absolutely free. Yours to keep just for trying Bambusa risk-free today. Your results are guaranteed. So call now and wrap yourself in relief with Bambusa. Call 1-800-494-4610. Call now. Everyone could use a little more peace and harmony in their life, and that's what Zen's all about. Zen is about bringing balance to every aspect of our chaotic, hectic lives. Hi, I'm Bex, and I'm the host of Got Zen. You can find Zen in so many different ways. You can take a yoga class, you can meditate, you can exercise. Zen allows us to live our life better every single day. God Zen, Saturday mornings at 8, only on Varia Living. Welcome back. Today is all about reaching a fitness goal for a main event. You need to keep your commitment to the countdown and stick with your game plan. Here with some tips for staying with it is certified holistic wellness counselor, Javanka Ciaris. Welcome, Javanka. Thank you, thank you for having now, me. Now, you are a success strategist? I am actually a, a consultant and I'm also a holistic wellness coach. What are the first steps that someone needs for setting themselves up for success? Well, assuming that you have a plan already and you have a goal in mind, mm -hmm. one of the first things that I like to do is to break down that goal into actionable items. Things that you can do little by little that will take you one step forward every day. Certainly taking care of your body is very important mm -hmm. and that means eating nourishing healthy foods that don't rob you of your energy and vitality and also keeping track of your sleeping patterns of your regular movement and exercise is very important i couldn't agree more yeah. for obvious reasons <laughs> how does one stay motivated in your opinion so you've set that goal how do you stay motivated and on it it is important, in my opinion, to have a very strong spiritual practice in mind, just because it's very normal for us to get overwhelmed and a little out of sight every so often. So keeping with your internal self, because we're not just a body, right? We're just body, mind, and spirit. So things like meditation on a regular basis. You can do all kinds of other stuff, like reciting mantras and putting together uh, just affirmations or, or manifestation techniques will help you certainly. What would be an example of a mantra that someone might use? I like to start my day with just sitting quietly and reciting to myself, I am capable, I am powerful, uh, giving thanks, saying thank you so much for the opportunities ahead of me mm -hmm. for, and asking for guidance. It could be very much a mantra like, uh, I'm welcoming the, the, the things that I need right now and whether it is an opportunity to learn a new lesson. So gratitude, guidance. And keeping uh, in mind that you are very powerful of who you are. You are actually a marvelous machine that is that is ready to take on and accept all of the wonderful things that are waiting for you. Jovanka, I'm sure everybody at home has this question because I have this question. <laughs> How do you stay motivated when you feel overwhelmed? Yeah, that is a very normal feeling, especially when you're trying to accomplish something. Certainly having a strong sense of sp a spiritual life is very important. I like to do meditation, and it could be very simple. It's as simple as sitting down uh, for a few minutes quietly and just thank your the universe for all the blessings that are coming your way, asking for guidance, mm -hmm. and remind yourself that you are a marvelous machine that is, that is a, 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 worthy of all the great things that the universe has to offer. So I, I keep on hearing gratitude, guidance, these are all important things, and Correct. it also sounds like um, there's a sense of balance that you're talking about. How do you achieve goals in a balanced way? Yeah, that's a little bit of a tricky thing because when you're trying to accomplish something, I am a big proponent of having a balanced life. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that's not necessarily possible. Sometimes you have to hustle to get things done. So it is important to have a clear goal where you can hustle really hard. And you may be hustling for a few days, maybe even a few weeks, mm -hmm. but you have an eye out on that end goal that will allow you to also work hard and also play hard and relax and, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Now here, here's something I hear all the time, for what it's worth. <laughs> 
I don't understand. I've been doing this for a week and I don't see results. Yeah. Now, we, we, you know, I think that we experience that in different ways in our respective careers. But what happens when someone isn't reaching their goals quickly enough? You know, we live in a society of convenience and we are very used to wanting things to happen now and happen perfectly. And when that doesn't happen, then we get overwhelmed and we start to wonder, we start to doubt ourselves. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is take a few steps back so that I can remove myself from the situation and I can see it more objectively. And then after that, you can start asking yourself questions like, am I asking for too much too soon? Am I not taking care of my body the way I should? Maybe I'm not eating correctly. Maybe I'm not, I'm not moving or exercising. What am I punishing myself? So, so again, just to interject, it sounds like balance. So in other words, there's a foundation right. there to support me chasing these goals, right. pursuing we, these we goals. We talked earlier about breaking down your big goal into actionable items. Mm -hmm. Maybe you get overwhelmed because you're trying to do too much at the same time, or just too much. Instead, break it down and focus on one goal at a time every day. It's like little battles that will allow you to win that war at the end of the day. I couldn't agree more. As a matter of fact, I always say that my definition of spirituality is really being able to make the right decision in the right moment for yourself. That that's really, because no matter what God you believe in, or whatever it's really about being able to make that right choice in for the moment. you exactly whatever works for you at that particular moment now should someone reward themselves as their like should we eat the carrot that we're chasing or oh absolutely are you kidding me absolutely because <laughs> I, mean, I think you... it's very much in the American ethos to like always keep the carrot you know just far enough away yeah you say, eat the carrot absolutely I okay. mean you've worked really hard remember you've hustled so reward yourself whether it is if you can afford it maybe take a, a short trip somewhere or just go out to dinner and don't be afraid to brag a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, go to social media and tell all your friends. Those people are there to support you. They love you. They want to see you succeed. So let them know so that they can praise you a little bit. You deserve it. Absolutely. I agree. You know something? I think I deserve it. Javanka, <laughs> thank you so much. You were excellent. I want you as my success coach. <laughs> Coming up next, gadgets to get you to your goal. Seriously, that's a very, I like. So frazzled becomes so calm. So down becomes so happy. So tired becomes so rejuvenated. Go from feeling so so to so good with Varia Self Optimize supplements made with powerful organic herbs and 5,000 years of Ayurveda healing wisdom. Discover the entire line at variaso.com. Varia Self Optimize. Go well. If you've got acne, you're probably battling more than just pimples. I get brown marks, discoloration from previous breakouts. My skin has had sun damage. Every breakout that I ever had would leave a mark. It was horrible. That's why Proactive developed our groundbreaking dark spot corrector to help lighten sunspots, age spots, and the marks that acne can leave behind. The dark spot corrector is designed to work seamlessly with our three-step system and it's become one of our best-selling products ever because it works. It just made a huge difference on even sunspots that I had. The spots around my cheek area and on my chin have started to fade away. I was noticing that my age spots were starting to diminish. I can just apply it and I know that after a week or so that dark spot is gone. Today's the day for you to try the dark spot corrector because today, Proactive is offering one of our best deals ever. Call right now and we'll send you America's number one acne fighting system for just $19.95. And we'll include our amazing dark spot corrector free. That's right, you'll get one of our most effective and luxurious products, a $22 value at no cost to you because we want you to see just how great your skin can look. I've told everybody about Proactive. It makes my skin look flawless. Call now and get the three-step system plus the dark spot corrector. We'll even include two more extras. That's an $82 value for just $19.95. And now get started even faster with Proactive Next Day, so you can get Proactive shipped overnight and start clearing up even sooner. People ask me, what are you doing to your skin that's different? I'm like, you have to try this. Call 1-800-772-7167. And don't forget to ask about Proactive Next Day. That's 1-800-772-7167. 
Don't settle for bad skin. Do something about it with Proactive. It's the bold new face of wellness. The all new Varia Living and VariaLiving.com. Be a part of the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Varia Wellness. If you've been watching, you're now well on your way to achieving your goals for your next main event. Now, in my opinion, there's no better way to achieve your goals than by measuring them. That's the way that you get there. In my hand is the old school way of measuring your goals. It's my workout journals. Um, this actually goes back, I think the oldest one that I have attached here goes back uh, two and a half years. And yeah, I'm a little crazy, but I like to keep track of things. And it also really keeps me focused and targeted and accountable when I write everything down. Now, if you want something that's a little more new school, this is called the InBody. And the InBody measures not just your weight, but your body composition. So when many of us lose weight, we don't know what we're losing. Is it muscle? Is it water? Is it fat? We don't know. So this InBody unit actually runs an impulse through your body and it measures for you whether you've lost fat, water, or, or, or muscle. Very important things. Now, these units can be a little expensive, so you'll probably find it at a local gym or at your doctor's office. The important part of all of this, whether you're using a fancy machine or just journaling your way to success, you can only succeed at what you measure. I'm Jeff Halvey. I'll see you next time on Workout From Within. You're watching For Real Living. Welcome again to Under The Sun. Hopefully this isn't the first time you've tuned in, so you know that my name's Nathan Leroy, and this is the show that not only takes you to the far corners of the earth, but also throws in a healthy slice of organic farming and sustainable living to boot. This week we're in Spain, and I hope to show you some of what its countryside has to offer. start my travels in the historical region of Andalusia in southern Spain. I like to spend the majority of my time in the countryside, bringing the best that the organic world has to offer to your doorstep. But who can come for a sojourn in Spain without visiting some of its historical cities? This is Granada, the last Moorish stronghold before it fell to Catholic kings the same year that Columbus landed in America. It's home to a gypsy in a Moorish quarter and also has a palatial compound that almost made it onto the list of the new seven wonders of the world. Join me on a quick tour of this beautiful Spanish city. Granada's top historical landmarks are, appropriately enough, on the tops of various hills that surround the more modern university city. Let's start with the Moorish quarter or the Albacin, as it is called. The Albacin was the site of the Moorish court before it was moved to the Alhambra on the opposite hill. Tucked away here are art galleries, antique shops, and very, very trendy bars, patronized by Granada's large community of university students. Mint tea houses, Bookstores selling Arabic texts, shops selling Moorish style crafts are a sign of the Granadinos' renewed interest in their Islamic past.